Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Friday evening episode of Ted's Boo Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. It is currently 7.36 on Friday the 4th of September 2020. So it is a new month since the last episode of Ted's Boo Cellar and I hope this month is great, full of good fortune and full of good health for all of you. And I hope this pandemic is over very soon that we're all able to get back to our normal lives or at least as close to them as we possibly can. So, I just want to start off by giving two shout-outs today. First off, I'd like to say congratulations to my old travelling buddy Joshua on getting engaged. You are most deserving of that honour and that glory, my good sir. And I know the person that you're getting engaged to will have a rambunctious old time with you. And uh, they, they have gotten a right steal with you because, uh, yeah, Josh is a great lad and I had many a good times with him while I was travelling with him. And yeah, he the person who he, he is getting engaged to couldn't have gotten engaged to a better chap. So, congratulations to Joshua and his partner. So, I'm also wanting to just give a quick shout out to my friend Imogen. She was quite poorly this week and she's just gotten out of uh, hospital. So, I want to, you know, wish her well with that. I hope she's feeling it as better as she can as soon as she is and that she you know, is in a safe and healthy environment at the moment. I know she is, to be fair, because her partner is taking very, very good care of her. So to uh, Imogen and Henry, I hope you guys are doing excellently at the moment, and I hope Imogen in particular, you are do feeling better very, very soon. So, on to today's drink, and I think that this is something I may have discussed in a previous episode that I was thinking of reviewing at one point, but I hadn't gotten around to it just yet. And I was told about this by a lad I follow from Sunderland on Twitter, and he said it was quite decent, but there was some characteristics about it he wasn't quite sure about. And we're taking a look at today at banana bread flavored beer by Eagle Brewery. So yeah, I've I've heard of Eagle Brewery before. I can't remember if I've ever reviewed any of their products. And I like bananas, but I don't really like banana flavored stuff. So I don't know how this will be. It says here. To this day, Eagle Brewery embraces different perspectives. It means that while others may move cautiously, we soar fearlessly. Take a different view. Fresh bananas pack a whole punch of aromas. White, rich, malty hops deliver a seriously fruity flavour, all perfectly balanced by a masterful blend. It says here, style is flavoured lager, lager blend. It's got an alcohol percentage of 5.2%, colour of 26.5 EBC, and EBU of... 22.5 so it sounds like a decent ish sort of like concept flavored beer looking forward to it it was this is a 500 milliliter bottle so it's half a liter and it was how much was it two yes that was it it was 279 from the wine barrel on western road in hove so i'd say that's a pretty good price for a bottle this size so yeah i've got to say as well i like the design of the bottle and the label yellow's not really my my kind of color but they've contrasted it nicely against some little sky blue dots here. Good art design, good colouring, good mix of colours at least. And yeah, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Looks good, looks handsome. So let's give it a quick sniff and see what our first impressions of it are like, as always. So let's have a little sniff to... Okay, it just has sort of like a standard lager smell there with like this underlay of sort of like banana and a bit of like this weird sort of oatiness flavour. So I guess that's the kind of banana bread flavour coming through in the smell there. It's fairly like mild, it's fairly smooth, like none of the flavours like really snatch at you and sort of like cloy in your nostrils. So it's got a smooth smell, doesn't like overpower you too much. So yeah, very welcoming. I'll give that a 9 out of 10 for the smell. It smells very, very pleasant. But, as always, we'll give ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water just before we proceed with the drinking. I mean, really, I should do this every episode, but sometimes I do forget because I'm a cantankerous old soul who forgets sometimes even what I'm doing every morning. So, who knows, but I'll uh, just pour that water in there, take a quick swig. And then on to the tasting. So, to me, Jen, that her partner Henry, and to my old travelling buddy Joshua, and to everyone else today, I hope you have an excellent weekend. Now, bottoms up. Oh, 
not getting much of a banana bready taste, but there is bananas coming through. Okay, so the main flavour is like, um, it sort of kind of feels like a, a, a Kronenberg, like a clear, crisp, continental lager with a bit of floweriness to it. Um, and like, I can taste some bananas in there, but it doesn't really taste like the bready oatiness that I would expect from like banana bread. More than anything, it actually tastes a bit more like caramelised banana in here, slightly candified and sort of a little bit caramelly, sort of almost. It's got an interestingly like smooth little caramel sort of finish that's quite odd. And then in the sort of the middle of the taste, there's obviously like this sort of um, very sort of um, strong aroma of banana. So it's it's got this beery start to the taste, then banana throughout like to the end, and then this weird sort of like, but quite complimentary and nice uh, sort of caramelly finish actually. Hmm. The thing is, I really don't like banana flavoured things, but this is actually pretty good. Hmm. And if you're not so big on banana flavoured stuff, once you do have a few sips, the banana doesn't become too overpowering. It's weird. With some other drinks, I feel like if they've got a concept sort of flavour to them, then it becomes more prominent the more of it you drink. But with like this, the banana flavour doesn't go away, but it sort of levels out a bit the more of it you drink, so it's quite an interesting taste, I'd say, actually. Mm. At, at first I wasn't quite sure about it, but now that, that mixture of the crisp lager underlying taste with like the caramelised sort of banana feel at the finish at the end, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. I feel like the banana could be sort of Sm like spread throughout the level of the taste and could be mellowed down just a little bit and I feel like the lager bit could be made a bit more prominent and the texture could be a bit smoother just but only literally like by a minute amount so I mean it just misses out I think on being an elite level beer but I'm still probably going to go out of my way to get this again because this is a decent beer like, this probably would actually go quite well with a slice of banana bread or with a piece of banoffee tup pie. So, yeah, I I actually really like this. I'm going to give it like an 8.15. Decent effort. Very, very decent effort from Eagle Brewery. Not not quite elite level, but it, I feel like if it could be tweaked a bit, it could be. So, yeah, I really, really like this. Definitely a buy. Definitely a buy for most alcohol drinkers as well as beer drinkers. And I hope you guys agree. If you don't, though... Let me know in the comments section below, as well as any other ideas you might have for other future episodes of Ted's Boo Sir. But, I hope you did enjoy this episode, and if you did, leave a like, share and subscribe. And also, as always, I'll leave the links to my other social medias and YouTube channels in the video description down below. But, until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops, drink responsibly, know your limits, Eat a good meal before you drink, and I'll see you guys next time at the bar on Ted's Boo Setter. Bye-bye for now.